Oh, here you go. Check out those nasty teeth on that fish. Oh, oh, yeah, this has got a heavy weight. Probably one of those similar fish, but he's big. Ah. Yeah, I can't wait to hang into this. Welcome back, folks. I'm out here on the reef again. Try it out for the big fish, but I'm actually targeting Skippy. I'm just gonna wait around. I'm looking at the sound, and there's a bit of activity. I don't want to anchor yet because my spot's a bit further that way. I've got a big soft plastics out here. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's a few things on the surface. I don't like fishing for my sound solely because you just get too focused on the one thing. But uh, this is good a shot anyway. Right, so first fish of the day. Could be a skippy. So it came off the bugger. I didn't, I, my fault, I, I didn't, I didn't keep pressure on him, I was getting ready, getting the net ready. Well, that's a good sign. Okay. Alright, nice skippy. Nice skippy. Not that big, but uh, that's a good sign. Actually, might be a bit too small this one. No, he just made the grade. It's a bit bleeding, so I won't throw him back. I will keep him. Awesome. Do that fight hard on the small hooks. <laughs> the current is going that way. You know the wind's going that way, so pointing this cast behind the boat if it's if it's coming back straight for you. I'll fish on the side today. Right, so I've actually got a real small soft plastic just for the skippy for a bit of fun on light gear. So that's sort of see how that goes. Uh, yeah. Well, here you go. He's on the soft plastic. A lot of gear, so, <laughs> so it's not a bad fish. Come on. It's a good size skippy. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's a good size skippy, man. Now, there's a bloke called Nolan. He works at this shop in Ninaloo. He recommended these this, uh, soft plastic for me, for the skippy. And mate, my friend, is a whopper. <laughs> mate, okay, snapper's on the cards, but that there is like really, I love it. Woo! On a soft plastic, nice and clean. Not too stinky. Oh, fine specimen. Joyous. Look at that Yeah. The rass on a big, whoa. <laughs> on a big piece of squid. Things are lean, so this one's coming home with me. Check out those nasty teeth on that fish. <laughs> yeah, so it's been really slow today. I was stuck in that one spot, I should have moved around. I'm just going to troll, <laughs> see if I can have a luck from the a few episodes ago when I got that nice big tuna. I want to go out here on the ground, see if there's anything else out there, a bit further deeper, and just bottom bounce. Just anchoring and burning, I don't know. I know it works, but. Oh, okay, I'm out here in a bit deeper water, 23 metres, and I'm going to just bottom bounce. King George water will be great. Let's give it a shot. 
I'm getting a bit of boom boom. I just landed one whiting. I didn't want to tape it just in case it came off. Yeah, it came off too. Alright, bit of action. Yeah, nice. Well, that's a pearl of a whiting. Ten species of King George, but uh, I'll take this <laughs> whiting to the rescue. Mate. That's the kind of fisherman I am. I mean, if I, um, I love me fishing. I love the challenge. But, you know, if it gets boring because I'm not catching something, now, there's many factors why. Maybe I'm doing stuff wrong or... Oh, maybe that's just how it goes. But, you know, just bought and ballasting for a bit of hooks and a bit of bait. Catch a few fish. That's what I, that's what I love doing the most. And I think the majority of us, even the people that watch this show, do the same. And I do get comments. I had one chap, I don't know, he must have gone for a phase where he was just getting traumatised from not catching any fish. And he goes, Tom, at least there's someone like me out there. Just don't worry about catching the biggies, even though they're great fun, but just getting out there, have a feed, enjoying the sunshine. Well, here you go. And, uh, yeah, not get nothing too fancy. Bread and butter species. Mate, I can live on that forever. Oh, oh that's a... Oh, flatty. Oh. Alright, finally. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see rats. And that's all I've been catching. <laughs> Man. Absolutely dead. So we're heading back to port again. I'm on a troll. And uh, whether I'll make a movie out of this or not, I'm not too sure. But still, gave it a shot. And uh, we'll see how we go. But uh, anyway, we'll keep going and see what we, what we come up with. Oh. I just stopped for a minute. It's a nice bit of reef. Oh, must be a kelpie, big one. Oh, no, to, oh, nice big red rash. Good little fighters, these are. <laughs> oh, oh, there, this has got a heavy weight. Probably one of those similar fish, but he's big. Unless it's two of them. Yeah, two of them. <laughs> Ugh. Colourful, and I have cooked these up before, and uh, yeah, they're on there for for dinner. Very slimy. I think I will throw some back. Um, hang on, that one needs. Best day fishing I've had, and but yeah, look, I come home with probably a really nice big skippy. I got a few other fish. When I mean, that skippy was the first one, he, he, he was size. I probably should have thrown it back by none of the others. A few whiting and a few rass, and I still got a few nice fillets to keep me last for the whole week. This here, 
I'm going to cook up for the show something that I've been wanting to do for a while and that's going to be I'll show you soon all I'm going to do for this fish is get rid of the guts and the gills I'm actually going to leave the scales on and I'll show you why but I'm just going to do some cuts along here I'm also going to do a few little patterns, I'm just going to sear the skin idea or not I'm not too sure <laughs> we're gonna find out and all I'm going to do with this fish is salt it up rub olive oil all around it make sure it gets in over here too Well, I haven't got much pass left in the garden, but I'll just try and put a little bit around here, but the majority will go into the cavity. Chop it all up. And that's basically it. I'm going to cook this up right now on the rotisserie. Something I haven't done before, and I reckon it's going to be really good. It's going to go on the rotisserie. All right, it might be a bit tricky. The rotisserie is probably too big. We'll put some lemons on here just to protect the flesh a little bit. That there's going to be an empty cavity. Might have a bit of bit of bother there. All right, so I'll put in this rat. Still got the scales in here. That's really going to protect the flesh. So no need for. Uh, lemon on that. Let's have a look if this is going to work. I think the skip is too big compared to the other fish. That'll be fine. He ain't going anywhere. Got a bit of steam and press the button and away we go. Hard to tell how long this will take to cook. I'd say about maybe 15, 20 minutes. Maybe a bit longer because it's not really directly on the heat. So that's uh, beauty. been a bit, that's definitely done, it's going to boast up a bit, nice and juicy, and uh, yeah I can't wait to hang it with this, skippy, brown spotted grass, alrighty, let's have a look, yeah so the fork's going in there, not too much pressure. Right, so let's take this off here. 
what am I going to do is actually turn it onto the plate. This one, and this one. Oh, it's just going to make it warm. There we go. Voila. I mean, that just looks superb. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> Look at those patterns there, too. Yep, let's do it. Oh, yeah, it smells. It smells really good. Probably should put some lemon. I haven't got much of it left. I'm just going to grab. I love this bit here on the fish. Yeah, it's definitely cooked. Oh, yeah. Coming off the bone nice and easy. So I'm just going to grab this piece here. That fish skippy trevelli. That. Oh, if you want to appreciate fresh ocean fish with minimal um, interference in the way it's cooked, that there is epic. It's just a skippy, but it is just delightful. <laughs> I was going to pay this up for the whole family, but um, I will. <laughs> This is just delightful. Mm. I even got the cat next to you. Chicho, you want to come up? Come. Say hello to everyone. Ugh. Hi, Chicho. Yeah. You want some fish? Yeah, that'll be right. Bloody cat's too, um, <sighs> loves his tin food. Anyway, I love my fresh food. It's not my cat, it's my sister's cat. Get out of here now. And uh, that is fantastic. Here's the brown spotted wrasse. I did leave the scales and skin on. And you can see why. It actually protects its delicate flesh. <coughs> there you go. That looks pretty good. Mmm. Holy moly. That is, that is really good. As in texture and flavour wise, I have to say it's better than Skippy. That is just. Look at that. Oh, drift. And that there is just. Whew. Beautiful. Anyway, I better wrap it up. Thanks for watching. It wasn't the best fishing day ever, but. Mate, when you grab like that, and I tried something new on the barbecue, I'm stoked. Don't want petite. Take it easy. We'll see you next time. Spot on. Hey, where's the There you go. <laughs> Fish. Taka. Fish, taka, fish, taka, man. Fish, taka, fish, taka, the fish, taka, man.